lot of city people condemn the planned pinniped harvest, but they don't know what it's like living out in those isolated and semi-isolated communities when you don't have a lot of job opportunities. Could seal or sea lion steak be coming to menus at a restaurant near you? Well, I like seafoods, so I, I would go for that, yeah. Oh yeah, I've eaten it before. I'm a fisherman. Is that something you would order? No. Yeah. Oh, because they're that, yeah, seal. Never had seal before. Why not? A group out of Steveston in Richmond is meeting the Federal Department of Fisheries and Oceans this week, and they're proposing a test hunt that would allow First Nations fishermen to harvest and sell products made from seals and sea lions. The hides, the omega-3 fatty acids that come from the blubber, the oil when it's rendered down, and then you have the meat that we can so hopefully sell to the restaurants and to other distributors so people can try it. There's a lot of interest for that. I'm, I'm all for it. No, no. Let nature take its course. It has to be limited. It has to be controlled by the government somehow. Uh, it seems like the population of seals and sea lions has grown tremendously in the last number of years. So from that perspective, perhaps it would be a worthwhile venture. Now, according to the Pacific Balance Pinniped Society, some Indigenous bands already have agreements that give them access to hunt for food and social or ceremonial purposes. But they're worried pinnipeds, like seals and sea lions, are being protected by laws they call outdated, causing their population to explode. And they're just decimating our salmon, steelhead, sturgeon, and other fin fish. And he says that's making it hard on the southern resident killer whale, a species already under strain, which has to compete for the same food. They mainly eat chinook and other salmon. And of course, we know the chinook and the coho and salmon numbers are down considerably. And then we hear the scientists say that the pinnipeds are back up to historic and higher than historic numbers. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. I think it's good. Uh, if you if People think, oh, they're cute, and, you know. But uh, they just consume far. They're way out of control. Thomas says there are export and tourism opportunities that could create up to 4,000 jobs along the B.C. coast. The Pacific Balance Pinniped Society meets with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans on Thursday. Thomas says he's expecting that meeting to go well. In Steveston, British Columbia, David Zura, City News.